Hello my fantastic viewers, welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's been so long because this video takes a long time because I have to wait for my packages and as you can see in the title is going to be on hamster haul and unboxing video so I hope you enjoy it. So most of the brands that I bought this stuff from are mostly from Petco because that's like more accessible for me but the, the rest of the brands that I bought from are popping up in your screen right now so here is my trusty scissors and we'll start unboxing the boxes right now I don't really know what to start but let's start for the smallest one which is this one so this one is from Amazon and I have no idea what this is because it's I've waited for like at least a month I guess okay so this one is the tunnel I'm gonna send a screenshot over here so you know what it is. It's the L shape. Oh, this is my guess as well. Say hi, Lulu. <laughs> All right, so this is the L shape. Um, this is for Shoyan. I'm not sure if she can fit in this though, but. I'll see if she doesn't fit in this. I'm gonna give it to my uh, one of my dwarf hamsters. And then the next one is this one, also from Light Angel. All right, so this is part of this one. So I'm going to show another screenshot over here, and it will look like this. Shoyan will definitely fit in this because the the hole looks um, like the size of a Syrian hamster. I just want to say that the boxes of Night Angel are really helpful actually. It, it's like the packaging is so nice and I appreciate that from Night Angel. So next one is also like this. I'm not sure if it's the same size. Let me check. Let me double check. Yeah, it's the same size. So I got two of this. Here's the smaller box too, and which is also from Night Angel. I'm guessing that yes, this is the water bowl. Okay. So this one is from uh, AliExpress. This is my first time buying from them, so I'm not sure how they how they package their um, products, but we're gonna see. Okay, so it looks like it's packaged well, and we're gonna see the inside. Oh yes, this one. Okay. Okay, so this one is for Shoyan Streets and it has a little, um, oh no, this is not food. So this is, it has a little spoon into it and I found it funny because, and cute, because, um, I saw a post, a giveaway post from another Instagram hamster account and I didn't really sign up for it, I just wanted to know where the where they got the this one and I asked them and they said that I should try it in Aliexpress and I did found this and I'm really really happy so yeah this is going to be for Shoyan so this one is made from glass ASMR and yeah I don't remember how much this is but I think around $10 I guess but yeah I'm gonna send a screenshot over here so I'm glad that it didn't come to me um, damaged because I waited for this for like a week. Let's do this. So as you can see, this is from Amazon, and it is also from Night Angel. And yes, it's another Haida. So I'm gonna send the screenshot over here again. <laughs> it's not full, see? Okay. Next box, this one, also from Amazon. So it has a little box here, also from Night Angel. And okay, so these are the 
if I'm correct, it's called stilts. So it's like you can connect this on your hideout, an angel hideout, and it will look like it's a platform. Um, the bedding that I use is this bedding, and this bedding it expands, but over time it will it will I don't know the word English word it will deflate. And I put something on top of Shoyan's hideout, which is this hideout, and over time because of its weight it goes down and there are hamster owners out there who are concerned that their hamster might be squished or something so night angel did this as an upgrade for the hideouts so this is really helpful and the next one is this one i don't remember where i bought this from but it's also from amazon i don't know who seller it is but this is the screenshot and for this one this is going to be for shoyan's enclosure since I am planning another enclosure tour for Shoyan and this is basically wood made from wood for this one I'm planning on making it a staircase like this and for Shoyan's platform or something and I can also make it as a like pathway it gives aesthetic look for Shoyan's um, enclosure so that's why I got this for her Next one is this one. This is also from Amazon. So this is for Shoyan, I think. Yes, this is for Shoyan. This is from Reptology and Cave Hideout. So this is great for reptiles and fish and small animals. How much? And I'm not sure how much this is, but I'm gonna put a screenshot over here. Two hundred dollars. So. Oh my gosh. So this one, the purpose of this Makanya. kind of di ko alam. Ah! So for the purpose of this one is for Shoyan's um, nails to naturally trim it because of its um texture. But just in case, I also um, provided Shoyan some river rocks for her nails as well. But this is also a good natural nail trimmer for your hamsters and also a good aesthetic look for your hamsters enclosure. So next one is, this one is from PetSmart. I got a stone again for Shoya cooling stone. This is a great product for your hamster as well because this, its purpose of this one is a cooling area for your hamster especially when they feel hot. In their enclosure so the next one is also from night angel this one okay so this one is for showing again this is the hideout I'm gonna put a screenshot over here again so I know what this is um, this is the playpen for showing I'm not gonna open it up because I need to set it up and I'm just gonna show a screenshot on how it looks like over here and another picture over here when it's assembled. And then next one is reptile sand. So this is the sand that I use for my hamsters. As I always mentioned in my past videos, if you're looking for sand for hamsters, make sure that there's no calcium included because calcium is toxic for hamsters. And this specific brand, um, Zoomed, reptile sand is the only reptile sand that is safe for hamsters because this one is natural it has no calcium included and unfortunately you can't really buy this at pet stores um Petsmart sells this sometimes but it's like rare moments that's why i'm just gonna put a link down below on this one you can only buy this on amazon but yeah i'm just thankful that this still exists <laughs> Because I used to hear that pet stores used to sell this one, but for some reason they stopped selling it. I don't know why. And I think that's stupid for them to do, but because this is safe for the hamsters. But yeah, business is business, I guess. So I got three of this, by the way. So this one is also from Amazon. Okay, so this one is Night Angel again. Oh, I got. So this two, I got four more, I mean got two more, so I got 
all four of this this one from Amazon as well so for this one I was thinking of making it a like dirt, dirt box for um, Shoyan's enclosure but I think I'm just I'm just going to give this to some of my dwarf hamsters because it's, it looks like it's their size this isn't really made for hamsters but there are um, products out there that we use that can be for hamsters and this is an ex a great example for you guys next ones are going to be for petrol I'm restocking their orchard hay grass so it looks like this this is the one that I'm using for them when you choose a hay grass for your hamster make sure it's orchard hay grass and make sure that it's soft so this so far this one that I'm using for them is soft for our hamsters because there are hay grass out there that are <laughs> pointy for your hamsters and it's really um, not comfortable for your hamsters I'm gonna send a screenshot over here so that, so that you know what to get so this one is from Walmart this one is not for is, isn't made for hamsters but can be for hamsters so most of you already know that you can feed this to your hamsters as their treats because baby food is actually low in sugar and some products are actually no sugar has no sugar at all so it's very safe for hamsters and um i heard that most of the hamsters actually like the flavor blueberry and that is a fact because i actually tried every flavor of um gerber Puffs and most of them most of my hamsters actually like the blueberry flavor so I got to this because um, whenever I go to groceries these are actually rare that's why whenever I see um, the blueberry flavor I always get to and then for this one um, this is my first time trying this out um, it's also like the gerber pulse but it's actually a little bigger so i'm guessing this is going to be for shoyan and i'm gonna see if she's gonna like it or not if if she doesn't like it i'm just gonna eat it <laughs> so yeah i'm not sure if you can see this in your local grocery stores but i don't know i'm just gonna zoom in so that you know what it is and what it looks like so for this one I'm really glad that Walmart um, sells this stuff because this is actually a good product for your hamsters. It's called Rosewood. This is for good for their foraging, um, foraging treats for your hamsters enclosure. So there are other Rosewood products out there, and unfortunately, I I couldn't find some more of these kinds because the um, rosewood products here in my area is actually like rare and this is the only product that I can have so and then the other one is for Fuku, my sister's cat so so for people who are new here Fuku is basically uh, the polydactyl cat of my older sister so basically um, my sister's new apartment manager doesn't allow pets so i ended up taking care of fuku uh, he's my baby <laughs> but yeah um this is for fuku it's his um cat cat toy and it's um bento sushi box cat toy so another bag of walmart so i got another rosewood product so i'm gonna put here I got this from Petco. It's cat grass. Yes, you can use this for your hamsters um, because it's really safe for your hamsters' um, enclosure. You just have to make sure that it's always fresh, and if it's starting to die, throw it out. So this one is cat grass seeds, and I'm gonna put a screenshot over here so that you know what to get whenever you want to buy it. The rest of the products are in the bag are um, treats for my hamsters so this is from PetSmart so I'm just gonna put a screenshot whenever I show you guys here so that you know what to um, get so this one is banana and blueberry pieces next one is a rose hip and dandelion treats 
Uh, you can use this as your foraging herbs for your hamsters. The next one is sweet potato bites. Last one is fruity mix. Squid shop. So whenever you get treats for hamsters, make sure to always read the description, the instructions. But mostly I recommend you guys to, uh, if it's a treat, for example, especially the drops, um, this one, the drops, um, make sure to only give your hamster one or two pieces every day or maybe once a week. So because um, especially this one, the drops is high in sugar. So be careful about that because hamsters are very sensitive and they can get diabetes just like that very fast so be careful so next one. Oh, so this one isn't really hamster related or um, pet related I like to um, collect Funko Pops so this one is Pikachu um, let me try to open it up because we're here already anyway so consider it a bonus for you guys so I was at, I was afraid and cautious on ordering from Amazon because I don't know like they're the the way some companies like packs their products is actually like bad but this one is actually good so I'm just I'm gonna put a screenshot over here if you want one so I got the grumpy Pikachu from Ross so I got Ross I, I got this one yes Ross I saw this one and I was like, oh, this one can be showing some food dish or for her vegetables and stuff like, stuff like that. So yeah, that's why I got this one and it's really good. It's really a good deal for anyone. So yes, this is one of the products that is not made for hamsters but can be for hamsters. <laughs> okay, so for this one is also for from Walmart. Um, it's this one is called I believe terracotta plate or saucer or something like that for the plants but this one can also be your hamsters um, food dish for for their um, maybe vegetables or fruits and terracotta um, materials are actually good for their um, trimming of their nails naturally as well and unfortunately um, well, whenever when I bought this one, I was also buying the terracotta pot, but they canceled it because it was not available. So I'm gonna try to get one again, and yeah. Okay, so the rest of this one is going to be for pet PetSmart. So I was planning this one for Shoyan, but when I saw the door, I was like, "There's no way Shoyan is gonna fit in that." I mean, hamsters can be flexible, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna take that route because I want everything safe, safe, safe for my hamsters. So this is going to go to one of my dwarf hamsters. So before you give your, um, whatever you have wooden materials for your hamsters, please make sure to sanitize them by baking or boiling. I'm going to make a video about that so that you guys have a um, guide on how to do it properly and then next one is also from PetSmart so for PetSmart whenever they have their food dishes or food bowl for their the small animals I actually like to buy there because this one is actually helpful the way it is designed it is designed for your hamster of not making putting a lot of bedding in their um, food dishes because unlike this one whenever you put um, this on top of your hamster's bedding it will have bedding in their food on their food so this one is helpful the way it was designed that's a very nice decision for the company to do okay so this one is my favorite foraging herbs for my hamsters um, this one you can only get this from Petco so this one I'm gonna put in a screenshot I got two of this and my hamsters really love this stuff so yeah it's a good foraging herb for your hamster <laughs> and then I also got them a uh, mealworms dried mealworms 
We can get this at the bird section because this is made for birds but can be safe for hamsters. So yeah. Dried mealworms. I wanted to um, I wanted to try the live mealworms, but unfortunately when I was trying to buy it from pet stores they're always out of stock and I don't know when they're gonna restock. But if I ever got one, um, I'm gonna make a video about that in the future. Okay, next for the boxes that's behind me. And we are going to use my scissors. So this one is going to be for Shoyang because I got the large one. So this one is a big alligator chew. So for most of you guys who doesn't know who don't know yet, um this one is a good chew toy for hamsters as they need dental care for their teeth and this is a good chew toy for them. This is made for dogs but can be safe for hamsters. This one is a hamster bedding. Um, it's my first time using this one and oh okay so I'm gonna do a zoom in so if you see those stuff um, you need to use your strainer just to um, remove those stuff. So this one is soft granule bent blend for your um, hamster's bedding. Um, I've been doing my research and it looks like this one is um, safe for a hamster. And I'm going to do a update video if it's true. <laughs> the screenshot over here. So this one is another bedding from Petco. Oh, it's new. Hmm. They got a new packaging for the whimsies. So this one is for my dwarf hamsters. Is it me or it got in a little bigger? Interesting. I'm gonna put a <laughs> screenshot over here. Since I have a lot of hamsters, I needed to um, restock for their uh, seed mix. So this is the Sid Mix that I only use because I've used other brands of Sid Mix and it's not good. So if you're a new hamster owner who's watching me right now, I recommend you this one. This is like literally a good and safe um, Sid Mix for a hamster because it has its own um, also complete um, and the nutritional facts. It has a complete um, percentage for hamsters. And I'm gonna show a screenshot over here so that you'll be able to see what you're looking for whenever you're looking for um, seed mix that are commercial seed mix basically. And I wanna mention that whenever you're buying seed mix or bedding, um, mostly seed mix for your hamsters like this one, you need to put it in your freezer for at least 24 hours to kill off um, possible insects that are, that are living in here <laughs> so yeah um, I'm gonna put this in the freezer later for 24 hours always 24 hours okay, yeah. and then I also got them millets so this is also made for uh, birds but can be safe for uh, hamsters so this one is a spray millet when you're looking for this, you need to look at the screenshot I'm showing you because it it doesn't have the brand on the picture. It literally just is like a stock um, millet, spring millets, and you're not gonna know how much it is. Um, so this one is 16 ounces. So just make sure to look on how much the weight is for the product so that you know what you're buying. But if you want this one, look for this one specifically. And then I got another, this one, natural aspen bedding. So for most of you guys who 
still don't know yet about proper hamster care. So whenever you're looking for wooden shavings for your hamster, always make sure to get the natural aspen. Aspen. Always remember that word, aspen, whenever you're looking for um, wooden shavings for a hamster. Do not, do not, let me, get, let me say it again, do not get the pine bedding and the cedar bedding because those are toxic for a hamster's respiratory system. So if you use that, don't get it. <laughs> Always aspen natural bedding. I'm gonna put a screenshot over here if you want this one. I got um, three of this in total. I already used the other two bags for Shoyang's enclosure, as you can see over here. Okay, so for the last box, finally, it's IKEA. So this one is from IKEA. That one that I got from IKEA. So this is ceramic, and you already guys know that I'm I'm, I'm planning on doing a natural enclosure for Shoyan. So this is just like temporary but I'm gonna um, change Shoyan's setup again like maybe next month. I mean I'm also changing, I'm always changing their setup every month because every month you need to um, you need to change your hamster's bedding. So oh I like it for Shoyan's enclosure for aesthetic look <laughs> as always so this is made from ceramic it's the same material that they use for the ceramic high dust for the hamsters so yeah this one is safe so nice like look oh i like this one i mean i don't like the texture but i like it it looks like a cat <laughs> so i like it that's nice there are products that I already opened, so let me just try to show you guys. Wait, I forgot. So this one is also, I got, also got this from um, Ross. So let me just show you so that you know what I'm saying. I saw this one and it has like a magnet to it. And I saw it, I opened it and, and I had an idea. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I can make a hideout uh, made from this. So I'm planning on like buying... Um, Dowels, wooden dowels, so that I'm gonna make like I'll make a video about this. You guys know, you, you guys will see how it is. Um, because I understand that there are hamster owners out there who doesn't who can't afford, um, like for example, Night Angel platforms, Night Angel hideouts, and uh, I'm the kind of person who helps out people. So I'm going to think of other ways that you can do for your hamster when you're especially when you're on a budget so yeah i'm gonna be, i'm going to make a video about this one for you guys soon okay guys so this one is the one that i'm talking about so this one i got this from petsmart um i'm gonna show a screenshot over here if you want one and then uh this one so it's a plate I got this from the kitchen area. So the next one, this is for your kitchen as well. So it looks like this on the side. And then if you see, Choyan has a new substrate, which is coconut fiber. I'm gonna put a screenshot here on the side so that you know what to, to get. I believe I got that from either Petco or PetSmart. And then if you see this um this container, this is also from Ross, along with the ones that I showed you, which is this one. And this one is actually a deep container. Um, it's actually over here. It's just covered with the other beddings. And then the other one that I want to show you guys is this one. I got this from Petco. Um, so this one is wood. It's made from real wood. I got that from the reptile area. So I already sanitized this one. I made a video about that. So yeah, I'm going to make a video in the um, soon on how to sanitize your wood materials for hamsters and hamsters. And this is going to be the first one that you're gonna see. And these are the river rocks that I'm talking about. So if you want to get river rocks, I want to say right now, um, 
make sure to get the rough texture, which is this one. This one is rough texture. Because if you get the smooth one, it's not gonna be effective for your hair. It comes just natural on trimming of nails naturally. So I have one more unboxing video. It's like a separate clip because I needed to open that big box. It's really, really big. It's bigger than me. I'm just gonna show you guys on the next clip on when I'm opening that big box because that big box is actually um, all bedding and it's from Petco. So yeah, you're gonna see the video right now. Alright guys, that's it for this video. It's really really long and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do more unboxing videos but I am planning on making another other unboxing videos but it's not gonna be like this. It's going to be me supporting other people like for example small businesses, hamster businesses and that's what I'm planning to do and that video is also coming up soon so don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so that whenever I upload a video, you'll be notified and you'll be able to enjoy my videos. And for the art videos, I will be also uploading a video soon, hopefully. And it's just my schedule is getting tighter because I'm also, I'll, I'll be graduating soon. So it means more work for me for school. So yeah. Um, it's crazy yeah thank you guys bye 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 no no <laughs>